I love that I'm making a video about not caring about what other people think and yet I literally have spent like the last probably 25 minutes making sure my background looks really neat and tidy. Totally makes sense, right? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and of course if you're new here welcome. My name is Erin and this channel is all about helping you to be unapologetically yourself and get paid for it. And yes if you are an original subscriber of any sorts you will know that I have changed that once again but this is just due to the fact that I am moving in a little bit of a new direction with my channel and with my business and it's going to be more around personal branding and really you know mindset and helping you to just show up as the best version of yourself and of course get paid for it so that's what that's about if you're new you're probably like oh, what the hell are you even talking about it's all good don't worry pretty much what we're gonna be talking about for today's video for how to Tuesday is really how to overcome, you know, this fear of what other people will think of us. So in my own experience as a female entrepreneur and my experience as a coach, I've seen firsthand so many times, you know, people stopping doing what they want to do in life and stop taking the necessary steps they actually need to to move forward due to the fact that they are so fearful about what other people are going to think about them, particularly if they don't succeed or particularly if they do something that is really radical and out there. So what I really want to do in this video is give you some practical advice on how you can really overcome these fears so that you can really do the stuff that is going to put you on the map, but the really do the innovative stuff that is going to help you pioneer within your particular industry or with your business. So that's what we're talking about today. If you loved the video, I would very much appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up. If you think somebody else would need this video, then please, I would absolutely love it if you did share it with them. And of course, if you're new here, then consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Saturday. So one little thing that I would like to preface this video by saying is that there will always be a part of you that is going to some degree care what people think about you. You know, humans are by nature community beings. We thrive off love and connection. We thrive off being a part of a community. And to some degree, it is important what other people think of you. I'm sure it's to some degree important what your family thinks of you. You know, in most cases, it's important what your friends think of you, your significant other. It's really important to me as a content creator, as an entrepreneur, what you guys think of me. So there is always going to be a part of you that it is important to have a mutual respect between yourself and others. And therefore it is important about what they think about you. You know, it's important what your employer thinks about you, your peers at work think about you. Not in the sense that, you know, if you dress differently or if you have crazy ideas and talking about how they perceive you as a human and how they perceive your values and how they perceive your personality. All of that is important for, to some degree, to really have a proper connection and relationship with the people around you. So it's never like you're going to be basically like, screw the world, I'm on my own. That's not what this is about. This is just about not letting the opinions of others hold you back from really doing anything that is going to create change in your life or in your business. So don't ever think that, you know, it's all about ostracizing yourself and just being like, it's me against the world. That's not what it's about. But when it comes to actually, you know, fearing the opinion of others, what you need to understand is this is just another kind of biological response that happens. Humans are wired with this negativity bias to basically, you know, always think of the worst case scenario. And often what happens when we are trying to do something that is game changing or innovative, the immediate thoughts that we will have are around being ostracized, being rejected from the group. And, you know, these days it doesn't happen, but you know, in historical times when you survived by being a part of the group, if you were ostracized, you'd probably get eaten by a lion or something like that. So we're wired to want to be a part of the group and kind of just move with the status quo so we're not ostracized. And so often what happens is when we are having these, you know, outlandish or crazy or innovative or creative ideas, that voice inside our head will actually come up and say, hey, maybe don't do that because, you know, you might get judged, you might get ridiculed and therefore you might get rejected and you'll be out on your own and therefore you will not survive. So it does sound crazy, you know, of course, you're not going to be out on your own literally in the wild, but theoretically, that's the kind of thoughts that we do have when we have these crazy ideas and that's where this fear of judgment from other people do come from. Now, 
biologically that's the way it is but in more recent times for so many people the fear of judgment actually comes from you know real experience so fear the experience that they've had maybe with family members who've not been so supportive or more commonly which is the most frustrating part of it the experience that they get from you know the hatred and the disgraceful behavior that does happen online i can see why so many people don't want to put themselves out there because it really is appalling the kind of things that are said to the people who are really putting themselves out there myself included so i can see where that comes from but what i want to do is give you some practical advice today that will really help you whether it is this kind of strangers on the internet fear or whether it is maybe you don't have the most supportive people in your life how do you really over overcome the fear of the feedback and rejection and ridiculement from these people so that you can just you know not care what they think and move forward so the first piece of advice that i do have really comes from i guess like the law of attraction side of things but i mean more i guess scientifically or biologically it's really about you know what we choose to focus on is what we experience more of our ras reticular activating system is basically highlighting what we're focusing on so the more you focus on the fear of feedback or the fear of judgment or the fear of people ridiculing you, ridiculing you, you, <laughs> I'm talking today, um, the more that you're going to experience that. Whereas if on the contrary, you focus on the potential to change people's lives, do something that would change the world for the better, or even just make a positive impact on those around you. If that's what you're choosing to focus on, then that's what you are going to experience more of. So coming in to doing anything out there or doing anything that puts you in the firing line for judgment, You've just got to make the decision that yes, okay, some people aren't going to agree with me, my family, people on the internet, they might judge me, but I also have the probability of making a huge impact on other people's lives, maybe even changing some people's lives for the better. So if that's where your focus goes, that's where your attention is going to be at, and that is what you will experience more of. So really just making the decision to focus on the positive over the negative. And I know that sounds really elementary, but it's something you've got to condition yourself to do over and over and over again, even when the hate does start coming in or the judgment. Now, the next thing that I would like to say on this is you always need to be asking yourself, is this reality or is this my thoughts? So as I said before, humans are kind of wired to really focus on the negative in situations. And yes, sometimes we will get negative feedback from our family, our friends and strangers on the internet. But more often than not, we kind of catastrophize the possibility of what other people think and their feedback and their judgment in our own minds. So if we are going to start something like start a business, start a YouTube channel, and you know we think about, oh, maybe I'll post it on my personal Facebook page, quite often our fear of what other people are going to think of us and maybe not even say anything, but just think of us is actually not a reflection of reality. It's just that kind of fear-based story that we're telling ourselves to prevent ourselves from doing something outside our comfort zone. So what you really need to say, you know, ask yourself the question, are all of those people from my high school or from my last employment or my cousins, are they really going to take the time out of their day to sit there and like constantly ridicule me? Or are they maybe a little too preoccupied with their own lives, their babies, their children, their work and their own insecurities? More often than not, we think that people are just like there waiting on Facebook, like perched up, ready for us to do something so that they can judge us behind closed doors. It's not like that. Most people just don't have the time of day to be thinking about you because they're too obsessed with thinking about themselves. So you always need to be asking yourself that question. Is this really reality or am I catastrophizing the situation? Is it really going to be that bad if I put a YouTube video out and post it onto my Facebook page? What also comes with that is the you know, insanely short attention span of the human race. So, you know, you might put a YouTube out and post it on your Facebook and one of your cousins might say, ha ha, this is funny, I can't be making YouTube videos, who does that? The next day they're gonna be thinking about something else anyway, so who really cares? Again, don't focus on that one person's opinion, focus on, you know, the people that you could help with that YouTube video, but they're not gonna be thinking about it for very long if at all. My next piece of advice, and this is actually a really good risk kind of analysis exercise that you can do with anything in business, but it also works really good for overcoming, you know, caring what other people think, is in a journal or something, if you're experiencing this kind of fear and you find yourself procrastinating from doing something in the worry that you'll get negative feedback 
or judgment. What you want to do is actually write out the best and worst case scenarios. So let's go back to the example we used before. So you just started your YouTube channel and you wanted to share it on your personal Facebook page, but you know, you might've been a bit scared. What you might write down is something like, okay, so what's the worst case scenario? Maybe my ex-boyfriend will see it and he'll judge me, or you know, maybe my cousins might see it. Like really, really try to think of the very, very worst case scenario. Because generally when you write out that worst case scenario, it's not gonna result in death, it's not gonna result in your channel, you know, you being banned from the internet, it's not gonna result in your family completely rejecting you, it's not gonna result in, you know, you being on the news. Oh my God, this girl put out a YouTube video and she posted on Facebook, oh, what? This is a national outcry. Generally, it's very far away from the kind of things that we're thinking in our own minds. So really force yourself to write, what is the worst possible thing that could happen? Then, on the other hand, you want to write, what's the best possible thing that could happen? Every single one of my 300 friends on Facebook might subscribe to my YouTube channel and instantly overnight I've got 300 new subscribers. My cousin Betty's husband's boss might see it because it got shared down the line and I actually might end up on the news because they really liked my message. It's more likely that you're gonna end up on the news for a positive thing, you know, it getting shared into the right hands rather than, what well, she posted a video to her Facebook page outright cry. You know, so really thinking about the best case scenario that could happen if you shared that video. And what you often, what you often see from doing this exercise is the good, the possible good, generally outweighs the possible bad by so, so much. At the end of the day, usually neither of these situations happen, but at least it gives you an idea of the bad is not that bad, but the good, the potential for good is usually extreme. And the final kind of piece of advice that I do have, and I guess this is more particularly in line with the type of work that I do with my you know, students and my business, rather than kind of just everyday general life, not caring what people think, but what you've got to understand is, you know, we get so caught up in trying to fit in. We get so caught up in not really ruffling any feathers, not really having a really outlandish opinion because we're so worried about people's feedback. But I really challenge you to question yourself and to try to think of someone who really, you know, changed the game, some pioneer, some real innovator, someone who really, really made it big like you probably are dreaming about doing who didn't ruffle some feathers, who didn't have a whole bunch of haters, who didn't have a really, really polarizing opinion. It's that polarity, it's that kind of having that group of people who just really do judge and ridicule you that is going to make you almost great and have even more people that absolutely adore what you do. It's really just important to recognize that if you really want to do something massive, if you really want to put yourself out there, you know, hate and ridiculement and judgment and other people thinking things of you, it just comes with the game. It just comes with the title. But at the end of the day, it's going to help you to actually progress forward and have even more people fall in love with what you do. So you kind of just got to take it on the chin, understand that that's how it is. Yeah, it sucks sometimes. I hate it when people, you know, being a female entrepreneur, I hate it when people always go to like the prostitute or the stripper kind of comments is the only way for me being a female to have made money. But that's just the nature of it. You know, you're a woman out there making money. Everyone's gonna go to the prostitute comments at some stage. But you know, what you've got to understand is that if you don't kind of have those people that are judging and ridiculing you, then you don't have enough polarity to be someone of a strong enough opinion to really, really do something pioneering, to do something that is actually great. So I know what, I, uh, what I'd like to finish on here is saying that like, I know it's really hard. I know this, this information sounds great, but when it actually comes down to it, it's a little harder, you know, to put into action, but just take it slow with yourself. Just, you know, give yourself the luxury of conditioning yourself over time to get a little bit more confident every single time you put out your comfort zone in not caring what other people think about you. But just remember to always focus on, you know, the positive, the positive impact that you possibly can have. Really thinking about that best and worst case scenario and knowing that if you are going to change the game, if you're going to do something that is, you know, Oprah worthy, basically, there are always going to be people who think negative of you and that is absolutely fine. So, 
this is honestly, I feel like this is only scratching the surface of what we could talk about when it comes to overcoming what people think of you because there's so many individual circumstances that affect this topic. You know, a lot of people are struggling with hate online from strangers, but then there are a lot of people who are struggling with, you know, maybe feedback from their significant other or their family. So please, if you wanted to discuss this topic further with me, then please do leave, you know, if you're comfortable to share, then leave your experience in the comments below or reach out to me privately on my Instagram. I'd be absolutely happy to give you some more personalized advice on the topic because as I said, it's really hard. This topic is so, I've actually filmed this video like 10 times because I kept going in a different direction. So if you wanted to talk about this further, please do reach out to me or leave something in the comments below. I really hope it was helpful and it kind of all made sense. It's, it seems really disjointed at this point in my head. Um, but I thank you so much for watching everyone. I really appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next video.